Hi, good afternoon. Welcome to Wood Wonders. Here is where we'll be sharing tips and bits of information. So whenever you're making a purchase of wood for any kind of application, whether it's for flooring, whether it's for kitchen cabinets, whether it's for doors, you will be a lot more educated in making a wise buying decision. Now, today's topic is kiln drying. Many customers and clients have constantly asked us, what really is kiln drying? Now, before I go forward into that, let me just spell the word K-I-L-N, kiln. Kiln drying basically means it's, it's a chamber, a large chamber, where you put out the wood, you stick out the wood in stacks. Now, there's a one-by-one -one sticker between each layer of wood to allow for airflow. Now, in this kiln, in this chamber, there's what we call heat and hot air and ventilation. So, it's a cycle where it's getting through all the wood and it's being dried down to, let's say, 8 to 10% moisture content. Now, some people believe that when you air dry wood, it is ideal, but air drying wood only brings down to what you call the EMC or the equilibrium moisture content. So, if you have an air dry wood in your home, whether it's a door or kitchen cabinet or so, and it starts to dry this out even more over time, that's where it will start to shrink and you see gaps. Now, there are also different schedules to drying wood. It's like if you're cooking fish, at least you know you could not cook fish to the same heat and speed as how, say, you cook beef or chicken. Does that make sense? So different species of wood depends on the density. They, they have different shells you will, of which you dry to. So next time you're making a, a buying decision, just ask the question if the wood is kiln dry, which means if the moisture has been entirely removed. Now, if you think you find this video interesting, I'd like and people can actually benefit from it. I'd like you to like it and share it, please. Until next time, I'll see you for more Wood Wonders. Thank you.